Recently, science and technology has been a male-dominated area, especially at the senior high school level. The Legacy Girls College, located in the eastern region of the Akuse Road, hopes to turn the odds as they organize their maiden science fair. Here's a report filed by my colleague, Michael Ashali. Uh, what, what do we have? Computer-aided design, which is powered by a self-assembled system unit. So for starters, we have our server room. And then we have a disassembled system, system unit. And through the use of this computer, which is powered by the system unit, we were able to design this server room and we made it. So what is this supposed to, to do? So it makes construction easier because then you're able to create a 3D version electronically. You know how you want everything to look like. You know how you want the room sizes to be. You know how you want the plumbing to be, the electronics to be. And when you're building, you know how everything is going to be like because you have the, the electronic version. And you're able to make the house easier and faster. After weeks of preparation, the students exhibit their scientific models. The Maiden Science Fair organized by the management of the school and the science department under the theme, Artemis Generation seeks to introduce the young Baden students to the field of science while also encouraging them to develop practical scientific solutions. What's this about? It's a dam truck. It uses the action of a hydraulic press to raise and lower the buckets to allow the trash to fall out. When I exert more pressure here, it's true. When I reduce it, it comes down. While she's using the syringe, she's pressing down on the syringe or pulling it up, the bucket raises um, as well. So that's what you can see in the demonstration um, there. So you can see it being raised because she's using the hydraulic press. Interesting one. We have here a 3D hologram projector. Yeah, it, is, it was built on the principle of reflection. So the device is on top and then the reflection is being reflected onto the screen which is placed at 45 degrees to so give it this 3d dimensional look it is made from cardboard um, a screen acrylic yeah and then a um, plywood it can also be used to make your room aesthetic it can be used in the entertainment industry in the music industry movie industry so many industries uh, let me come to you so what, what do we have Edible, biodegradable plastics. A lot to chew in. What does it mean? So biodegradable means it can be decomposed by bacteria or any other thing. So we decided to use organic materials to try and make plastic. And in the process of making the plastic, we realized that it is edible. So why not make plastic that we can eat and it's also safe for the environment? So they are going to give us a demonstration of what they call the elephant toothpaste. 5% hydrogen peroxide and red food coloring with normal dish soup. And this is potassium iodide. So, yes. Yeah, so. Michael Kwanza is the head of the science department. He says he is proud of the progress made by his students. Okay, for roughly we use like three weeks in preparing the girls to come out with this fantastic project. And it's so far so good. And normally we work or start working with these students or these girls after school and it's so far it's been very involving and it is very tiring and i must say my teachers in my department have done really really well i'm very very proud of my students because looking at the project that they've exhibited i mean it's amazing some of the students after partaking in the fair say they were inspired Maud asei gankui hopes her dancing robot will in the near future bring smiles to distressed children I presented on a dancing robot and a few circuits, a solar panel. My experience was very, very wonderful and very, very insightful. I learned a lot of things. Basically, when we learn interscience and we see the cell, open and closed cell, I didn't really know what it was about. But using my experiment, I was really able to remember everything. In future, I really hope to help people out there. My dancing robots could make a child laugh and that could bring a beautiful smile to her mom. Taking inspiration from the Artemis program run by NASA, some of the students say they were ready to start their journey to become world-renowned scientists. As well, we've been able to apply our knowledge of physics to this. So we've been able to apply our knowledge and we've been able to learn things. I hope to help the world and the society with the problems of water shortages and with the use of wind. We can be able to power pumps that will produce water for people. The project I worked on was a 3D hologram projector and I really enjoyed explaining all the facts about the, phys the physics aspect of this topic to them. I would like to become a civil engineer or 
a software engineer. So we made biodegradable plastic using organic materials and it turned out that we could eat them. So we made it in a form that is edible. And the biodegradable plastic is a, something that I'm very passionate about because I look at the environment and I see that there, there's a lot we can do to save the planet. So why not take this step? So with the biodegradable plastic, we are taking a small step one at a time. So in the future, I hope to maybe make a company that we can produce plastics at a larger level to protect the environment. Principal of the school, Nancy Dria, believes a lot of strides have been made in girl child education, but there's more to be desired. She opines that girls must be at the center of STEM education. It's important. I think women can multitask more than anybody else. So educating the girl child means that empowering her, encouraging her to be able to impact positively her generation. So you cannot leave the girl out. You know, girls have always been placed in a certain category that they are in the house, they are in the kitchen. And a lot has been done over the years, but there is still a lot to be done. And I think our girls have demonstrated that we cannot... Um, keep the girls in one corner and think that they can only do maybe the home sciences or certain um, professions only. Girls can do anything. In future or going forward, we know that from the experiment of the fair, they really understand and they've been able to apply. And leaving legacy, um, for example, one of the projects they had was um, producing biodegradable plastic. We know that our country has a huge problem with our gutters, lagoons and all that. Even the sea choked with plastics. So if they've been able to come up with that, then the, their future is bright. Legacy Girls College is an all-female private school in the Eastern region that provides a holistic and competitive curricula to students with an innovative approach to teaching and learning. They hope to train the next generation of excellent human resources for the country and the world. For Joy News, Michael Ashale. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and click the bell icon and get notified every time we share something interesting. We would love to have you on the